Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna show you how to make these stickers. And I'm actually not make the stickers, but just be able to print and cut them. So I'm gonna show you up front. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to see if it will focus. Okay, so it looks like it's not focusing all that well. But these stickers are freaking amazing. The colors are so vibrant. I'm gonna post the link to my Instagram that will have this, um, but I am amazed with, I mean, I love needle label stickers. If you guys know that, if you've been following me, I have been using them exclusively. Um, I have an Epson Workforce 7720, but I believe the Epson Workforce, no matter what number you have, um, is the same quality, it's just, oh, the paper that it can take. But, um, so my Epson workforce, I've had it for years. My husband swears that when he bought it for me, that it was the best quality, blah, 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 blah. And I kind of just thought, I don't know, my printer is okay, but I wasn't in love with it. But, um, then Needle Labels sent me some samples to try it out. And lo and behold, I printed vibrant beautiful stickers and i just couldn't believe it so anyway i want to talk to you about how to get that it's it's the paper the paper makes a huge difference so this is glossy paper and i'm going to show you one which it's the one with the blue shirt but it looks like store-bought stickers i mean i'm absolutely in love with it so um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about today is Canva. So this is print and cut, right? So all these stickers right here, my paper's eight and a half by 11. Um, but you know, if you did it in, in Cricut's design space, you're going to be limited to 6.75 by 9.25. So you're losing some inches, right? This paper, I printed it all the way to the edge. So you can see my paper is 11 inches wide and eight and a half inches this way. I printed so many stickers. There's no way I could have printed this many with design space. So here's the thing. I like to use Canva for any kind of print jobs when the print, when the cut is easy. Like this, I was able to just use my paper cutter, right? Straight lines, easy. If you have to do like um, where you need a specific border, then you're going to have to lose some space. You're not going to be as efficient on the paper and you'll use design space. So Canva, I looked it up today. Canva is, there's a free version of it. And so you can use that. What I do is, so let's go back to home. Um, oh, I forgot to save it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it will pop up under my recent designs. Maybe, nope, it doesn't look like it. Um, or maybe it could be this one. Can I be that lucky? Um, I'm waiting, I know I'm dying. I wanna know if it's the right one, but it doesn't matter. Um, let me show you if you happen to actually want to do this. These are, I don't know, for AAPI, um, Asian Heritage Month. Um, let me show you where that is. It's here. So it's more than dot art downloads. These are free downloads. I mean, the colors are just so beautiful. Anyway, you download them and then you're gonna upload them into Canva. So I'm gonna leave this here for another second and then I'm gonna go over to Canva. Okay, oh, it's still generating. All right, so what I do is for my print and cut, and this is the same thing as like the chip bag that I did. I did that tutorial yesterday, so that should be available soon. Um, but up here, all I did was I looked for eight and a half and you see the numbers start coming up, right? I just did a photo book cause all I wanted was the measurement. I wanted the paper to be 11 by eight and a half. So I'm going to click on that. And you know, I've said this all along. I am not a great designer. I don't know how to use the different applications that get, you know that make life easier. I just don't know how and I haven't had the chance to sit down and just learn it. So Canva is great for me because look at all these different options that they come up with. And I'm just gonna go in and tweak it. On this one, I really just want a blank one. So I'm gonna click on the blank one 
and it's going to give me the right size template. Then what you want to do is we're going to go and upload our pictures or whatever it is. So I'm going to go and click on uploads and I'm going to upload media and it's just going to take you to all your different options. You can upload from Instagram if you've posted a picture recently, uh, Facebook and your device. So I'm going to show you one and that will give you the idea. So when I download, downloaded the images earlier, it was in my download folder. Um, so I'm going to show you this one, for instance. So it's thinking, it's bringing it in, and it's this one right here. So all I do is then I then click on everything that has been uploaded, and you can resize it. So you can see how big this is. So I just, you know, here's my width and height. Um, and I just started dropping them in and, and putting them in here. So that way you can really line them up. Let me see if my other one popped in yet. Um, don't mind my dog. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click on all of these. And what's nice is once you have a size that you like, so let's say you like this one, then on all of these other ones, you can go and resize it. If you match it up to, see it kind of gives you that grid mark. So you know that that's the top, they're both equal in the top, and then they're both equal in the bottom. So you can just build your stickers. So this is great, like I said, for anything that's easy to cut with scissors or um, with your paper cutter. If you have anything that is at all intricate and you don't wanna do it with your hands, like with your scissors, then you're gonna to have to do it in design space so that design space can cut around your sticker perfectly. But for anything that is square-ish, circle-ish that you can do that's simple, I would do it here. The other cool thing is, so you can see the things I've been working on, right? These are some of the influencers that I'm gonna be working on on a special project that's coming up. But let's say I took, this was just a snippet from Instagram and you can see when you click on this image, the nice thing is you can go to effects and I'm going to remove the background. So it's going to give me just the circle. And in case you're wondering, that's Crystal Creates. She is an amazing, um, she does journaling and uh, scrapbooking. So her layouts are absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to follow her, she has a beautiful page. <laughs> so here is the picture so I can put it in like this, right? I'm just building it all the way across. So that's the great thing about Canva. Um, and then once you build one, you can just copy and paste like your row. I ended up doing a ton of stickers if you saw that last, that last page. And then you can even, you know, grab this and do copy and paste. So, so I can put it really close. This one won't fit, but you can, you know, you, we're basically going all the way to the edge. I mean, I just absolutely love it. Like this one, I made this one bigger. So let's just say you did it here. Um, I'm just going to do a few more and I can show you. You know, you can just, like I said, really go from side to side, fill up this thing and print it out. And look at all the stickers that I got from one sheet. It's a lot. So I'm gonna pause here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go and you're gonna download it. And I downloaded PDF, which is fine. The important thing after you download is that you make sure your printer settings are accurate for this, okay? You want the best quality. You already have the paper is a great quality. Um, so when you go to your PDF, you wanna open when done. And all right, so you can see it. Then I'm gonna go to print. When I go to print, I wanna make sure that everything I'm selecting is of the best, right? So I want color. I also want the quality, you want the best one, 600. So that's here. Then I go into my actual settings for my printer. 
And this one is my workforce, so it's this one. I'm gonna click on it and manage. And I always forget, so forgive me. I think I go into printer preferences. <laughs> I always just click around and just make sure that everything that I can click on, I have it on a really good quality. Okay, so everything's here. I'm gonna go to paper quality. Here, I'm picking glossy paper. Um, if I was printing my chip bags, so that was yesterday, I'm seeing if I have any on my desk, I don't. But that would be photo paper high gloss. But this one's glossy paper. I'm gonna click on advanced. Um, you want to make sure your output quality is high quality and not normal, and then that's it. And then you send it to print with your needle labels. Now, needle labels is having a major sale. This is the biggest sale that I've seen them have since I've been following them. It's 35% off um, anything that's more than $50. So the code is 35MAY. Um, and if you use my link, I would really appreciate it. Um, absolutely love their stickers. Give me a second. I'm going to go pull a couple things so you can see it. The ones that I have right here, which I will link, um, this is the white glossy. So there's a white background to it. The difference is going to be, and you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to flip my camera around. Okay. So give me a second. Oh good, you can see. <laughs> you can see my messy desk. Um, all right, so these are the stickers. I mean, just look at the colors. They're just, I'm so, just amazed. I mean, you, you can print anything. You can print photos, you can print Hello Kitty stuff. I mean, just look at that. It's just gorgeous to me. Okay, um, this is the difference between white and clear, okay? So this is on white paper, the white sticker paper on white. So you can kind of see that the white within the image is very, um, it's very white and noticeable. Here, this is clear on white cardstock. It's hard to tell on here. Um, it's the same sticker just printed on different labels. So what you'll notice is the purple comes out different. The purple over here, um, in person, this one feels more vibrant on the white sticker. This one is not as vibrant. It's more muted to me um, and it's clear. You can see it on the blue a little bit better. So on the blue, this is the white sticker label. So you can see the background is white. On this one, because it's clear, you won't see the white. It will pick up whatever paper that you put it on. So that's, and you can still see here too as well, the blue comes out a little bit different. I have both papers because you're, you know, you always need both, right? You never know when you need one more than the other, but I do prefer the white. Um, I'm just used to it. I think that's the thing. So there you can see the difference. And here is the sticker. This is from one eight and a half sheet. So you can see I really maxed it out like I was showing you. I have a ton of stickers on here. And look at the colors. The other thing that, uh, you know, like once you cut it, I have this little thing called Slice from Amazon. So what's nice about this one is you can lightly cut through this, like this, and that will help you. I didn't do it hard enough. That might have been too hard. <laughs> I'm still getting used to my what I can do. Yeah. So see, it doesn't cut through the sticker, but it gives you that back so that you can easily peel off the, the back of the sticker. And you can see here. Sorry, I did a horrible job of that. But that way you can cut it through and then there's nothing on here. And look how glossy and colorful that sticker is. I'm just going to put it on. <clears throat> I don't have anything to put it on right now. I don't want to waste it. I'm just going to hold it for now until I end the video. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think. If you like this tutorial, I feel like I want to show you guys more of Canva because Canva gives us so many more options, especially like on 
these photo things. Um, on the chip bag, you need it to print on one sheet because you fold the, the potato chip bag around, so everything needs to print on there. So you don't want to be limited by the by the um, the sizing in Cricut. So all right, let me know what you think, what you want to see. I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time.